What's going on guys, Billy here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the gimbal and gimbal speed settings for the Phantom 4 Pro. I'm going to show you guys some of the best settings to change so you guys can get some of the most cinematic and smooth shots possible. So without wasting any more time, let's jump into it. Before I go ahead and change any of my settings, I always like to do a quick calibration of the gimbal and camera system on the Phantom 4 Pro. So first of all, we'll click the three dots in the top right corner to access the general settings. Click on the little camera towards the left to access the gimbal settings, and then click on gimbal auto calibration. Now there are two things that I cannot stress enough. First of all, make sure your drone is on a level surface when you do your calibration as you want to make sure the camera is nice and level when you get up in the air. Second of all, make sure there's nothing in the way of the range of motion of the camera. We want to make sure that it doesn't hit anything that could potentially damage the camera itself. Once the gimbal's auto calibration has finished, we can go ahead and jump back into the settings and make our way to the gimbal settings tab. From here, click on advanced settings and we'll see that there are a bunch of different values that we can tweak to change how we want the gimbal to move. The first thing that we notice on this page is the three separate configurations along the top. You can put separate values in each of these configurations for easy changing on the fly. The first setting that we have to change is the Gimbal Pitch EXP, which allows us to choose how quickly we want the camera to be able to look up and down. Right now we have it set to a value of 55, and this is a little bit too fast for my liking as it's going to be hard to get nice, slow, cinematic shots. The higher the value, the faster the gimbal will move, so if we bump it up to 100, we can see that it's now moving even faster. I would recommend bumping the value down to 10 so it's easier for us to control the gimbal and get nice, smooth shots. If this looks a little too slow for you, you can always bump the value up to 20 as it really is all about personal preference. Next up we have enable upwards gimbal tilt limit to 30 degrees. When we turn this on, we're able to tilt the camera up an extra 30 degrees, and although you can get some pretty cool looking shots with this, I would recommend turning it off as the props will show up in your shot a lot more when it's turned on. Next up we have gimbal pitch smoothness, we can set a value between 0 and 30, and this will allow us to choose how quickly the gimbal comes to a stop when we take our finger off of the wheel. Right now we have our value set to 10, and when we look downwards and the gimbal comes to a stop, we notice that it's fairly abrupt, and this is not something that we want when we're trying to get a nice, smooth, cinematic shot. The lower you put the value, the quicker the gimbal will come to a stop, so on a value of 0, we can see that the stopping is almost immediate, and honestly, this doesn't really look all that good when shooting a video. I found the sweet spot to be a value of 20, honestly this is probably perfect for everyone. If you look up and down, we'll see that it comes to a nice smooth stop, rather than stopping so abruptly. Whenever I use a value of 0, I feel like I'm in an Apache helicopter flying around. Finally we have enable synchronized gimbal pan follow, this will allow the drone's camera to compensate for whichever way you're flying, whether it be left or right. For example, right now my drone has landed, and if I take the left stick and move it towards the left or towards the right, we'll notice that the gimbal and camera start looking that way to compensate for the movement. If we turn that off, we can now see that if we look left and right with our left stick, there's no movement. I usually never fly with this turned off, I usually have it turned on, as it will allow you to get nice smooth transitions when you're changing directions. So that about wraps it up as far as the settings that I use for my gimbal on my Phantom 4 Pro. It may look familiar as I use the same settings on my Mavic Pro, but I really do feel like this is the best solution for getting nice, smooth, cinematic shots. I'll let you guys take a look at these gimbal settings for a couple more seconds. If you need to, pause the video and write them down or change them really quickly. But right now I'm going to move on to a test shot to show you these gimbal settings in action. Now you may have seen this shot before in one of my previous videos, basically this was from the last time I went to my dad's job site and filmed the house that he's building, and as you can see, with this shot that I'm taking right now, it's all about moving the gimbal upwards, and with the settings I just showed you guys, it was so easy to keep control of the gimbal and make sure it wasn't moving too fast. But anyway, that about wraps this video up, hope you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new around here as I have been trying to upload daily. Also, if you have any questions, make sure to leave it down in the comment section below, and I'll try to get back to you guys as soon as possible. But anyway, as I said, this video is coming to an end, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.